you've made it to Cairo Hustle. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession on the world's number one chiropractic podcast. Before we dive into this powerful episode, please remember to subscribe to our channels and to give us a five-star rating on iTunes to continue hustling. This episode is sponsored by Imaging Services, Cairo Health USA, Cairo Mobiles, Pure Cairo Notes, Titronics, Sherman College of Chiropractic, New Patients in a Box, The Influencer Authority Podcast Training, Mango Voice, Community Healthcare Resources, Life Chiropractic College West, Trackstat, and Msculpt. Let's hustle. Hey guys, welcome to episode 441 of the Cairo Hustle podcast. I am your producer, Luke Millett, and here's your host, James Chester. So today we had the opportunity of interviewing Jordan Gorman. And if you want to hear about creating a chiropractic film, stay tuned. Welcome back. This is another episode of the Cairo Hustle podcast. It's 441st episode today, Jordan Gorman. I'm really excited for this episode. Um, I stepped out to the wave at Life West out in the Bay Area, California, and I saw this young man uh, premiere a uh, trailer for his movie, uh, The Aligned Athlete. And I was able to actually download that. I'm a purchasing customer here. So I'm going to urge all of you at the uh during this interview and after the interview to go to uh, his website and check this out and just buy it, um, support this guy, support this mission. It really does a, a great job of featuring uh, the miracles of chiropractic and the world of athletic excellence. And uh, I'm really excited for him to tell his story a little bit. But before we get in, I'm just going to let you all know the big why. Why do we do what we do over here at Cairo Hustle? Uh, we protect freedom of speech. Um, I fell in love with this film because it does that, um, protects the freedom of speech of chiropractic and people that support chiropractic. Uh, we also protect the sacred trust. And if you don't know what that is, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but go to your favorite search engine and search for BJ Palmer sacred trust. Um, we support subluxation based chiropractic innate intelligence and universal intelligence. And we believe that when someone gets adjusted, it connects the physical to the spiritual. I know that kind of sounds a little woo woo for people. But it's so true. Um, and that's the philosophy of chiropractic. And sometimes if we just have interviews and we don't share these things, you guys might not get the message that chiropractic is science, philosophy, and art. And uh, I know that uh, Jordan here, um, award-winning documentary filmmaker from Eugene, Oregon, uh, has uh, grew up in a chiropractic family, a chiropractic household. Your father, uh, Richard, is a uh, chiropractor. Um, so I guess... You telling us the perspective of what was like growing up in a chiropractic family, and uh, maybe some some uh, some takeaways that you've had since then, and uh, you know what it was like to be the the son of a chiropractor. Yeah, well, first off, James, thanks for having me on the show. I'm so excited to be here and share this film with all of your listeners and viewers. Uh, growing up in a chiropractic family, I mean, obviously, it was awesome. You know, I feel like. I got to be a part of a unique experience that the majority of kids don't get to have, you know, of having a dad who's been a chiropractor for decades, not just a chiropractor, but honestly a pioneer in sports chiropractic. So I got to be around so many athletes and especially growing up in Eugene, Oregon, it's the Mecca of track and field. So I got to grow up around all these, you know, some of the best athletes in the world who would come and compete in Eugene. And that's because my dad would be working with a lot of these great athletes. So growing up in that atmosphere, I mean, you learn a lot, you see a lot, but I'm just, I just feel so grateful to, you know, have grown up with a dad who's a chiropractor and be part of a chiropractic family. So maybe shine a little bit of spotlight on some of the people that your dad worked with, which uh, you got a chance to, uh, you know, be a, be around. Yeah. Well, a big one is in the film. One of our most prominent athletes in the film, Justin Gatlin, who is literally the most decorated men's sprinter in history, more so than Usain Bolt even. And so getting to grow up around him, I mean, so many athletes I could name. Um, and, you know, it was cool connecting with a lot of these athletes that it was before my time I was even born. There's Mary Decker Slaney, who was a great athlete in the 80s, one of the most decorated US um, Olympic, or, uh, you know, one of the most decorated long distance runners in American history. Um, and also Dan O'Brien, who in 1996, 
the year I was born. I was actually in my mom's belly at um, when she was with my dad at the 1996 Atlanta Games, watching Dan O'B or Dan O'Brien compete. Um, so getting to interview Dan O'Brien, you know, uh, who won Olympic gold when I was still in my mom's you know belly, uh, that was pretty special um, as well. So. Yeah, there's there's too many to name, but yeah, well, I I think that you know the 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 fairness in the whole conversation is, you know, coming from a filmmaker's perspective, uh, getting a chance to talk to some of these like really like, you know, celebrated athletes. Um, how was it just to like spend some time with them? Yeah, well, I mean, it was it was here and there. I mean, it was more so just watching my dad treat them. You know, and for me, it's like it wasn't anything super cool or extra just because I was used to it. I was always around it. And then now, you know, now I recognize how cool that was, you know, mm -hmm. to be a kid around all these great athletes. But in the moment, I'm like, oh, this is just another day. You know, my dad treating this Olympic athlete, this <laughs> Olympic athlete, you know, and it was just I was used to it. I was like numb to it. So for me, it was just normal. And and what gave you the idea to make uh, the Aligned Athlete film? Yeah, so it was actually, I have an older brother who's also a chiropractor, Dr. Eric Gorman. And it was actually his idea back in the summer of 2018. He approached me. I was still in film school at the time. He approached me and he approached my dad being like, hey, you know, Jordan's in film school. Why don't we, you know, do some sort of film telling, you know, the story of sports chiropractic and, you know, how it benefits athletes and whatnot. And at that point, I had no idea what this film would become you know, because we didn't really have a story. I didn't hear, we'll talk about Dr. Leroy Perry and his story here a bit, but I, I didn't even know about Dr. Leroy Perry. And so at that point, it was just, I was thinking, okay, this might be some cute little piece, interviewing some athletes, interviewing some chiropractors, but I was, I didn't want it to be something that felt very, you know, promotional. I wanted to find the story and eventually we did find the story, but um, it was actually my brother's idea to, to make this film. That's really cool. And I know that it's, uh, when did it release? It released like five months ago, five months ago. So earlier this year. And um, I know that a lot uh, goes into like the promotions and showing up places and doing screenings. Um, How has that been so far? It's been great. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to go out to more events and meet chiropractors and talk to people and show the film. Um, I got to be at the wave, which is the only one I've been to so far, but we're planning events at different chiropractic conferences and different seminars and just trying to, you know, get it out there to the chiropractic community. And then them in turn can show their athletes or show their patients this film, which is only 22 minutes long. So it's a short and quick watch and it's really easy for an athlete or any patient to, you know, watch and take it in. Yeah. You know, I was, when I first saw uh, what you had put together on the big screen there at the wave out in, uh, the uh, I think it's Hayward, California. It's outside of San Francisco. But when I saw what you'd done, I was like instantly impressed. And then knowing that you were there, boots on the ground, I had a chance to go meet you. I was just super excited to to be able to have this conversation with you on Cairo Hustle today, and to share with our audience something that I think is super powerful and that more people should have access to. And if it wasn't for me going out to the wave, I wouldn't know the film existed. So. I think that getting uh, more people to understand or just to know that what you've done um, is available to them, I think we should just kind of preemptively let them know um, where they can find the film and if they want to, to you know, buy or, or find it, like, where can we send them to? Yeah, so you're going to go to alignedathletefilm.com. And if you go there, you can see all the different options. You can learn more about the film, but you can see all the different options to view the film. You can rent it. You can buy a physical copy that will ship to you, or you can buy a, a streaming option and you can have the film forever on your computer or whatever streaming device you have. Yeah, I bought the streaming one, so that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so do you think that this film could be used for chiropractors to do screenings um, and show the movie and potentially use it as a marketing tool? 100%. I mean, that's why I wanted to do a short, easy to watch film um, even though I'm part of a chiropractic family, like I'm not super technical in all the knowledge, medical knowledge about chiropractic. I can't really break it down in a scientific way that my dad or my brother could. And so having that perspective, I think helped me, you know, 
um, tell this story and kind of share this knowledge of chiropractic that's at a very basic level. So if it's an athlete who knows nothing about chiropractic or an everyday patient who knows nothing, hasn't seen a chiropractor before, it's a very easy watch um, that's engaging and fun and entertaining and will easily educate them, you know, on simple terms about what chiropractic is, not just, you know, helping athletes, but helping the everyday person. Yeah, I, I honestly think that all chiropractors should um, jump on board with you and uh, get the download or get the DVD. Um, I think that they should hold little uh, parties for their practice members or patients and um, really make a big deal out of it and have uh, an evening screening at their clinics to have some type of a community event and uh, focus on showing the movie, which is short and sweet. But also, it shows a lot of uh, impact on how chiropractic can, uh, you know, help elite athletes. And, you know, I think it also would make sense to people that if elite athletes are using chiropractic for their uh, performance, then, you know, what will it do for the people that show up, like the regular people that have, you know, nine to fives that go to their neighborhood chiropractor? Like, if it's good enough for Justin Gatlin. You know, it's good enough for John Smith, you know, and it's good enough for their kids and it's good enough for their families. And I think there's a lot that can be said about people that are advocates and spokespeople for chiropractic um, that most people don't know utilized it and they got edge from it and it really helped them with their performance in the world. So I think there's a lot to be said about, you know, chiropractors actually taking value in what you've done and what you put together and putting together a movie night. Maybe it's once a month, you know, if they get the download, they can show it monthly. Yeah. Yeah. Or showing teams, you know, at any level, if it's your kids, you know, uh, fifth grade soccer team, <laughs> show them that if it's a college team, show it, you know, get your team together and watch it or just for patients. You know, I think the, the big point of the film is it's not just for athletes. It's showing how chiropractic works through athletes um, to hopefully inspire everyday people like, oh, if the best in the world, if the best athletes are using it, why shouldn't I be using it in my daily life as well? Even if I'm not, you know, this professional athlete, you know, I think the film does a good job of showing people how it can impact you not at, you know, only at an athletic in an athletic way, but just to improve your overall quality of life. Yeah. And that's one of the things I ask in our regular run of questions for chiropractors when we, we do the Cairo Hustle podcast is I ask them, what's one of your favorite ways to stay connected to your local community? Well, I think that we've given them like the, you know, we've given them the answer now, like they, they can hold little uh, get togethers and show your movie, which I think would be a really smart move for them. So go to the aligned athlete film.com and check out uh, the trailer for sure. We'll post that in the comments below. And that'll be the first comment, probably. Um, I know that, you know, we, we kind of had a pre chat about some of the back end questions I was looking to ask you. And I think we should kind of jump into them now. But um, where where do you see this profession going? Five, 10, 20 years? I know you, that you've interviewed some chiropractors, you grew up in a chiropractic household. So you kind of have a different, uh, you know, probably a different perspective on this. Yeah, I mean, I've grown up around chiropractors. A lot of my friends or a lot of my dad's friends, you know, are obviously chiropractors and just being constantly around them. I mean, chiropractors are some of the most humble, you know, selfless people out there, especially in the overall medical world. Right. I feel like chiropractors are so selfless and, it, you know, it almost to a fault where I feel like they could do a better job of marketing themselves, telling their stories you know, with this film, it's, hey, look at all these athletes and they're using chiropractic. You know, it's 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 finding ways to make chiropractic more mainstream and chiropractic is more used than it ever has been. But I feel like there's still a long ways to go to really get it mainstream where people are seeing a chiropractor in the same way they might see, you know, their regular physician. You know, I, I just want to see it grow and I want chiropractors to just promote themselves more, tell their stories find ways to even just send out a link to their patients. You know, ways like that, I think, can go a long ways. You've made it to Cairo Hustle. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession on the world's number one chiropractic podcast. This episode is sponsored by Imaging Services, Cairo Health USA, Cairo Mobiles, 
Pure Cairo Notes, Titronics, Sherman College of Chiropractic, New Patients in a Box, The Influencer Authority Podcast Training, Mango Voice, Community Healthcare Resources, Life Chiropractic College West, Trackstat, and MSculpt. Let's hustle. So I guess the, the, the follow-up to that is how can chiropractors best uh, share your film with their patients? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you can even follow us at, at Aligned Athlete Film on Instagram. And, I, you know, we've been putting some clips on there. And uh, we even we posted a clip of Justin Gatlin uh, when he won one of his world championships. And in the clip, Justin is saying, you know, before every meet, I go and see a chiropractor. And there was a lady, some random follower, somebody on social media responded to that saying, I knew my, you know, my son's coach was wrong in saying he didn't need to see a chiropractor, that a chiropractor wouldn't do anything to help his performance, that he shouldn't see it before he goes on the football field. And even if a small clip like that on social media can have that impact and change one person's perspective and mind and just reaffirm like, oh, chiropractic does work, you know, that's all it takes. It can be one simple video on social media that can have a really big impact. So what you're saying is chiropractors need to leverage uh, social media more effectively. A hundred percent. In my day-to-day -day job, I work a lot with social media. And I mean, that's it's it's the present. It's the future. Um, if, if you're able to find ways to utilize it, I mean, that's there's no bigger platform in the world than social media with the billions of users out there. You know, so I think it's finding creative ways like that storytelling ways to, you know, to educate the public about. So, let, so let's jump into your expertise for a bit then, uh, social media world. Um, yeah. what, are, what are the top three platforms that chiropractors should be utilizing right now? I would say first off is TikTok. Um, there's so many videos, even just fun video, wacky videos of, of seeing chiropractors, you know, adjust someone. I think it's, that just helps it become more mainstream and more comfortable in people's minds. Cause I feel like a lot of even my friends are scared to go see a chiropractor because there's this narrative about chiropractors that was created decades ago, right? That, Oh, you know, something bad could happen, whatever, even though it's so like 99% safe. Right. Um, I think TikTok is a great way to put out fun videos to make it more relatable and fun, especially for a younger audience with my film. I wanted it to, you know, a younger audience to, to want to watch it, want to enjoy it. And so I think TikTok's a great way. Um, Instagram as well. Instagram is very similar to TikTok in that it has reels, which is just like TikTok. So basically what I'm getting at is a lot of short engaging videos because young people, our minds wander and content is becoming shorter and shorter. So if there's a creative quick way to put out a video about chiropractic, you know, that can go a long ways, like what I've been saying. So do you like the strategy of creating something longer and taking a snippet out of it and creating a reel or creating a story with that and putting the full feature link like associated with that little clip so people can go and watch the full link thing if they want to? Yeah, I mean, for social media, with, with our social media for the film, I mean, that's been the strategy is posting little clips here and there in the hope that, you know, that'll get someone's attention enough to wit to where you know maybe they'll see the link our, our website link in our bio and then want to learn more about the film and then eventually watch the film right so it's finding ways to just grab someone's attention right off the bat and typically that's with like a shorter clip you know it's, it's a lot easier to get somebody's attention in five seconds than it is to keep it for 20 minutes so if you can get that you know attention right off the bat though maybe you have a chance of maintaining their attention for a film like this which is 22 minutes long yeah and so we, we've covered TikTok number one, uh, Instagram number two. Where should our chiropractors be setting up shop for uh, platform number three? I would say Facebook. I think Facebook, um, there's a wider net of an audience. Um, so I feel like I feel like Facebook's kind of been taken over by the older generation a little bit. So I think not to cast them aside, you know, with TikTok and Instagram. So to keep them, I would say Facebook would probably be your third. So I would say TikTok one, Instagram two, and then Facebook third is kind of how I would rank them. That's cool. Um, now let's talk distribution of your film and where you've felt like you've been catching some traction. Like we're talking social media places that um, are the obvious places, but where, where have you found a home for the film that um, you found some traction? 
Yeah, well, I mean, through social media, I mean, we haven't even done much with that. But the most effective thing has been what I mentioned, that Justin Gatlin clip. It has over 200,000 views and it's getting a lot of interactions like that mom I was talking about. who's like, oh, yeah, my son should have a chiropractor before he goes out in the football field. Um, so I think it's continuing to grow on social media and using the athletes we have in the film you know, who already have an audience baked into their social media um, pages. So I think it's doing that, but it's also what we were talking about earlier, getting boots on the ground. I want to go out there and meet more chiropractors, or if chiropractors want to hold a screening, go to our website. You can contact us by email and say, hey, you know, I, I'm interested in showing this film. How can I go about holding a screening? And and yeah, and we're trying to do more conferences, go to more events. And, it, you know, you can follow our Instagram or our Facebook and we'll, you know, put up an update if we do have events. We have some events we're planning for next year. Um, but yeah, I think it's social media and boots on the ground. I want to meet people. I want to talk to people and kind of build up this film through, you know, people seeing it and giving it some val- validity, you know, by people having seen it in person. So. Yeah, well, I, I I think that a really cool, fun idea somebody once gave me about what I do because I'm everywhere all the time and uh, create like a little map on your website to where like little airplanes are going (laughs) and where the screenings are happening. And you can like have an interactive map to where people are actually doing screenings at their offices to where that becomes like, you know, a resource for people that are interested um, and showing the movie. And they're like, Ooh, I can, there's, there's not one in, you know, Seattle or there's not one in Denver. Like we should probably have a showing in the city. And then, you know, you put another little like, you know, tack on the map or whatever, uh, a little geotag where people like are showing the movie, which I think would be cool and interactive for people. And it might get a little bit more popularity for people to want to participate with the journey of the movie too. Because last thing I ever want is something that has so much creative expression done and so much validation behind it um, to become the best kept secret. And uh, I know that's not why you created this. You wanted everybody to, to be able to have access to this and watch it. Yeah, but I think that's the key. It's like we want the bigger chiropractic community to be excited about the film and to also feel involved. So if there's a way that, you know, anybody wants to hold a screening or has an idea, like reach out to us on social media or, you know, go to our website and email us. And, you know, we're totally open to hearing those suggestions because at the end of the day, we just want eyeballs on it. We want as many people, as many chiropractors to see the film as possible. Well, I'm really proud of you, man. And uh, I, I know that you didn't get to where you are on your own. I'm sure you've had some people that influenced you on your journey. So one of the questions I always like to ask uh, our interview uh, people is, um, who are some of your heroes? And uh, who helped get you like uh, motivated and inspired to become uh, Jordan Gorman? Yeah, well, I mean, my first answer to that is the whole, the whole reason I did the film is it's a tribute to my dad, honestly. And my dad even, I'm interviewing my dad towards the end of the film and he breaks down just talking about, you know, one of the most rewarding parts of being a chiropractor is being able to treat my kids and my wife, you know? And so my dad just watching him, he's, he's, he's going to hate me for saying his age, but he's 72, still working, seeing 50 plus patients a day. I mean, you wouldn't have any idea he's 70. And so seeing his work ethic, his positive outlook on life, you know, he's just so wise too. I think he's been the greatest inspiration and been pushing me to where I am now. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have this film without him. So it's definitely my dad first. Um, a, a little bit more of a cliche answer. Um, the reason I got into movies is that escapism you experience through a you Steven Spielberg film, you know, if it's Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, just that's what got me inspired into, into movies and storytelling. Um, so it's Steven Spielberg is definitely somebody I would love to hopefully meet one day. And he's been an inspiration. So my dad and Steven Spielberg, you know, I think one and two there. <laughs> and I, I know that you had an athlete that you mentioned off camera that you, yeah. you that you've uh, looked up to you as well. And, um, big tennis player. Yeah. Roger Federer. Um, I've grown up playing tennis my whole life. I started playing when I was six, I was a teaching professional. I now work in tennis media. So tennis and sports, but tennis specifically has been a big part of my life. Um, so Roger Federer, man, uh, the humble goat. I just want to meet him one day. Hopefully I've met him once, but I was too shy to talk to him. I went into a room and he t- was talking to me and I, I not a word came out. And I just posed for a photo and got my butt out of there. So hopefully <laughs> one day I won't be too shy and I, I'll be able to talk to him one day too. 
Well, hopefully this Cairo Hustle interview is uh, one of many to come for you. And uh, this is just uh, the start of your publicity that you'll get and the attention that, you know, you'll get over your career being a filmmaker. And I'm really, you know, thrilled to have you on as an episode to share um, to our audience something that you've really worked hard on and that you've produced. And I actually enjoyed it. Um, I was talking to you before the interview started and I was like, you know, it'd really be awesome is to interview the other people that you are able to bring on to the movie so they can all do vignette interviews and talk about the movie, which would get to our audience, which would go to their audience. And it would just grow the chiropractic profession faster and more people would have access to your, your film. And I think the more people we get talking about it, honestly, is the best PR for it. And yeah. uh, you got to go to your different channels. You got to go to your different verticals of where people are showing up for the chiropractic message. And I think Cairo Hustle is one of them. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to have you on here, man. And, uh, you know, I guess the last question I have for you is uh, what has people's response been? Like, I know that I just like totally like poured out of saying what it, how I felt about it and what I thought, which, you know, you can take clips out of this and use as you want. But um, how, how have other people responded to you since you've uh, released the movie? Yeah, well, I mean, the response has been great, and we've got it shown in, I think, three or four chiropractic colleges now. And so the next generation of chiropractors, them seeing the film and learning the history, because the first half of the film is really sort of the history starting in the 70s to now of how sports chiropractic really became mainstream through track and field, but then through all other sports. And so chiropractic students now kind of knowing the history, appreciating where chiropractic has come is really important. And then them just seeing all of these incredible athletes speaking, you know, to chiro about chiropractic, I feel like it's gotten a lot of students really excited about the profession they're pursuing. Um, so I think that's been great. But it's like, you know, what I mentioned earlier, seeing the mom, you know, have a revelation of, oh, my son should be seeing a chiropractor, you know, um, little moments like that, where again, I want the everyday person to incorporate chiropractic and grow the profession. So, I mean, that means a lot hearing from non-chiropractors as well that, you know, this film has an impact on them. Well, just a little story for everybody out there. I'm going to bring it home for us is uh, when I was 16 years old, um, I started getting chiropractic care. I wish I had started um, when I was born from first breath, which I really recommend to people. I think that people should definitely uh, get, I call it cradle to grave care. I think somebody should get adjusted on the first day of their life and stay under care till the end of their life. Um, it makes all seasons of life better and it makes everybody perform better. Human performance is obviously something that you focused on in, in your film. And uh, anyways, uh, I always knew that I felt better when I got adjusted. And it was a huge uh, wake up call to me is when, you know, you utilizing chiropractic care throughout my, my teenage years into my early 20s. Um, it just helped with every aspect of athletic performance. Um, I always knew when I wasn't getting adjusted and I was that guy, I was the guy that would go get adjusted before the game. I was the guy that would save my money. Seriously, I'd save my money to where I could get adjusted after the game. So I was getting adjusted pre and post games. And I always knew that my body, uh, recovered faster. I always knew that my performance was better. And I just made it a part of my uh, my active recovery care and my pre performance care. So I think that anybody that like really considers, you know, if you have kids out there, or you're an athlete now and you watch this, or you listen to this, or you have like student athletes in your family, watch rally around and have them watch this movie, and let them know that chiropractic helps with uh, the edge performance, um, pre event, post event recovery. Um, it just keeps the body healthy and it keeps the mobility in all the joints from, you know, the extremities from ankles, feet, hips, knees. Um, th those are some of the biggest concerns why people actually like end careers is because of uh, a knee or an ankle or a hip. And then, you know, you come into low back pain and neck pain. And, you know, a lot of times people just, they, they deal with it. They deal with the, the long-term effects of, uh, you know, football hits. They don't realize that chiropractic helps with concussion. Um, they, they deal with like, you know, the, the injuries to like the extremities, like I mentioned, they don't realize that like getting like a knee adjustment or like an ankle adjustment can help speed up like healing, especially if somebody like turns to something like they twist a knee or they twist an ankle and right, right away, 
get that adjustment to the ankle or to the knee. And the, I, I think that that type of care um, really gives people the edge on recovery and it gets them back in the day, the, the game faster. So that's just a little personal story for me is I wouldn't live my life without it. And uh, I believe that everybody should get chiropractic care from uh, womb to tomb, cradle to grave. And uh, everybody deserves the chiropractic adjustment in their life. So, yeah. And a big, I would just add on a big point in the film is athletes don't know they're not operating at 100% or 90%. Everyday people, they don't know by just even walking or sleeping where their whole body and immune system can be out of whack. Right. So, I think that's a big point is people don't know what they don't know. And so we have to educate them at how their life can be this much better or their athletic performance can be this much better through chiropractic. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. And I uh, just want to thank you for uh, being our guest today on episode 441 of the Cairo Hustle podcast. Once again, go to the alignedathletefilm.com. Jordan, I uh, wish you the best, man. I wish that uh, everybody gets a chance to watch your movie. And this goes down in history as one of the best uh, resources that chiropractors ever had to do community outreach and to share the beautiful story of chiropractic. And you're right. So many people don't know how um, challenging their life is without chiropractic care. And one adjustment can change somebody's life uh, forever. So Thank you for being our guest. Uh, is there anything I didn't ask you that you would like to share with our audience today before we close out? I'll just say, if you want to learn more about me or I'm always looking for my next story to tell, you can go to my website, which is just my name, jordangorman.com. You can learn more about me or just send me a message if you have a story that you want to be told. I'm happy to always looking for the next story to put out there and you know educate people on some sort of issues. So yeah, that's it. Well, maybe that story is with me. So uh once again, uh, I want you to have a great day out there. And uh, are you in LA today? I'm in LA. I'm in sunny LA today. Yep. <laughs> right. Not too shabby out here. <laughs> well, have a great day out there in uh, California. And I'm going to sign off today from beautiful Grand Junction, Colorado, and tell you guys, you're just one story away. Keep hustling. And uh, Jordan, I want you to have a great day out there. Thanks, James. Thanks for having me on. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to Cairo Hustle. Don't forget to subscribe and check back next week to continue hustling.